Good afternoon, family, friends, Shirlane, Alex, Kerrigan, Chance, and those tuning in virtually around the world. My name is Ari Nazan, and I am a Keith Owen black belt, but more importantly, his friend. I want to tell you who Keith Owen was to me in his final lesson that I only discovered after his passing. I'm sure my account will likely resonate with many of you in the audience today. Keith's skill as a jiu-jitsu teacher was well known. If you were lucky enough to have been taught by him, you will remember his unique teaching style, his ability to make the most difficult concepts clear, and how he used humor to make everyone feel relaxed on the mat. I would often try to take candid shots of Keith while he taught, but his mat presence was so good, he always knew where I was. Controlling a room and knowing what was going on is a sign of a great teacher. In fact, one of my favorite pictures of Keith was taken on his 20th visit to my Jiu Jitsu Academy in Victoria, Canada. I was standing across the room and Keith was kneeling in the middle of the mats watching a group of students perform a triangle choke variation that he had just taught. I thought to myself, this would be a great picture. Keith looked so involved and intense. Just as I was about to take the photo, my finger pressing on the button, Keith's Jedi sense kicked in he turned his head to the left and flipped me the bird. <laughs> this captures Keith's humor in one moment. It was perfect, and I have that picture framed in my home. But before I tell you my final lesson of Keith, I want to first highlight one of his most important qualities, loyalty. Keith's loyalty to his wife, Shirlane, and to his sons, Alex, Kerrigan, and Chance, always came first. He was all in when he spoke of his admiration and love for them. He was a loyal man through and through. This quality resonated with me, and I saw him displayed it often. It was also no secret how Keith felt about his instructor, Pedro Sauer. I was fortunate enough to share many experiences with both Keith and Professor Sauer. I remember Keith telling me early on in our relationship that Pedro Sauer was the world's most interesting man as the sheer knowledge and experience Professor had accumulated was movie-like. Keith often referred to Professor Sauer as the Mozart of Jiu-Jitsu. He would often say that he was just a cheap copy of the Professor. But I learned as time went on, Keith was not a cheap copy, but rather a living testament to a man he loved and respected. His admiration and loyalty to Professor was, in fact, the same way I felt about Keith. What I found was that Keith, in his 50s, was coming into his prime, and he'd become a master in his own right. I would often catch Professor Sauer looking at Keith on the mats, just smiling. In 2014, Professor Sauer told me this of Keith. <clears throat> Ari, Keith is like a snake with wings. A snake is dangerous and deadly, but given wings, it's even more dangerous. Keith is a big man, but uses technique to get his way. So while Keith has wings and size, he doesn't need it because he understands technique. He is a great man. It was then that I truly understood how blessed I was to have found Keith Owen. Over the last four weeks, I literally received hundreds of messages about Keith, and I noted a common thread among them. The messages really highlighted his giving nature to people. These messages told how Keith would reach out and just offer encouragement or a kind word. Keith Owen was genuine. He was not afraid of being himself. He was strong yet gentle. He was tough but always pursued technique. And he knew that the smallest gestures weren't so small after all. It became crystal clear that Keith cared about people and wanted them and wanted to make their lives better. Jiu Jitsu was the vehicle he often used to accomplish this task, but it wasn't the end all be all. The simple act of telling someone happy birthday or making a smart-ass comment on social media showed that he was watching and that he cared. Keith's final lesson to me was that the simplest things can have a huge impact and effect on someone's life. Ironically, in 2008, it was Keith Owen who reached out to me via email unsolicited to tell me that he liked some of my videos on YouTube, despite some of the flack I had received. This small ripple became a tidal wave in my life. Don't compromise your values, be loyal, Stick to your guns, and remember the smallest gestures can change someone's life. 
Someone's passing is our excuse to live a little harder and a little better. This is your chance. You can tell how someone has lived by the number of people that carry that person in their heart. With Keith Owen, that's a whole lot of people and a whole lot of changed lives.